Hi, this is Judd from Presenter Media back with another Word Cloud tutorial. I've already done the basic tutorial, so if you haven't watched that, you might want to go back and take a look at that before watching this one. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a Word Cloud and then add it to our custom graphics. So I already have a Word Cloud um, ready to go here inside the Word Cloud generator. I've already added my words and I think it all looks good. So I'm gonna continue on from here. If, like I said, if you haven't watched the basic tutorial, I would go back and watch that before moving on. I'm gonna select PNG to make the background clear. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save to my media and let that run. Okay, it's saved to my media now. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to my media up here and where it says my media, and, my media and uploads. And you can see my word cloud is now saved and ready for me to access. So now I'm gonna go into custom graphics and I'm gonna go actually search in clip art. Oh, no, I'm gonna search in custom clip art. I'm gonna look for a, a button that I want to throw this on. Okay. Right here, I like this button. It says, put your message there. I'm going to click on it and it opens up into the close-up page of that. I'm going to just go click customize this item and it opens up the customizer app and I'm going to delete everything out of the workspace here. So I just selected stuff, uh, the stuff inside the work area and hit delete. And now I'm going to go to over here to my media and uploads inside the customizer app and you can see <clears throat> let's go to custom downloads right here and you can see that right here is my word cloud that i just made before and and i'm going to click add to projects and it's gonna shoot that right in there and it actually lined up pretty good right in the middle. So um, if I want it bigger, I can kind of position it bigger. And if I want the background a different color, I can also change that to a little bit darker. And yeah, click save. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so that was pretty easy. I'm going to go and select the largest size down here kind of like i did in the um when i made the word cloud in the basic word cloud tutorial and now that i have that i'm gonna build my custom graphic and just wait wait about a minute usually doesn't take a minute for a custom clip art but you can join me in a few seconds here i'm gonna Pause the video and then we'll come back and check it out. Okay, I am back and my button has completed. It took about 20 seconds to complete. And I'm gonna go click on, I got my alert down here that says my custom badge has been completed. I can click down here in my media or I can go up to the top in the top menu bar and click my media. I'll just click my media from the, the alert the yeah the message alert message down here and there it is um, I can double click on this preview and bring it up and there is my my graphic with my word cloud now included into the graphic so that's pretty cool um, it's just another way to use yeah um, the word cloud art and make it a little more dynamic a little more interesting um, so you can stop here and go start trying your own or I'm going to make another one and you can just watch me um, fumble around as I um, try to make another one here. I'm going to go into custom graphics and I'm just going to start searching through some of these here. Okay, so this one, I'm going to go with this one right here. So. I do like this one and 
I can kind of see the shape I like of that that needs to fit into. So I'm going to go back into my into the word clouds. And I'm just going to select just one of these pre-made word clouds and kind of kind of work from there. <clears throat> so this is the close-up page for the word cloud. Click customize word cloud. And I'm going to go over to where it says shapes and click on that. And I'm going to select the, the kind of shape that would fit that fit that custom uh, custom de custom design graphic. So uh, that looks pretty good. I like that. And let's see, I'm going to make it clear PNG. And I'm not going to change the text on it because um, I'm just to save time. I'm just going to download it as is. I'm going to say save the largest copy or the largest option and save to my media. Okay, it said it's saved. I'm going to go back in the browser, clicking back one more time. I'm going to try to get back to that. Yep, to the, the custom. Let's see, graphic here. So I'm going to click custom. Actually, I'm going to find a different one. I'm going to find an animation. So if I go to filters, click on animations and custom and go. I'll just type in sign, see if I can find a sign. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm just gonna select an animation that I want to use. I think I'll use this one with the flames. That looks pretty cool. I click on that and then click customize this item. And it's loading. Okay, and now I'm gonna just select items inside the work area delete them out and once again I'm going to go to my media and uploads and then go to custom downloads and it'll show you the word cloud I just um, created where I can either download the word cloud here or add it to my project um, well you can't download it from here because it's inside the the customizer app, you'd have to be inside my media and uploads to download it, but I can add it using add to project. And you can see now it's inside my, my app here inside the custom graphics app. Okay. Now that I got that, that looks good. I can set options down here. I'm going to do the largest size and keep it on repeat. So it's always repeating. Um, and looping and clear or color I can add put on a black or a clear let's just do a clear for now and click click build custom graphic and this is an animation so it'll take a little bit just a little bit longer than a clip art um, a custom clip art so uh, join me join me back in just a just a little bit here I'll pause the video Welcome back and my um, my animation with my word cloud has finished rendering so um, it gave me alert down an alert down here but it went away so I'm just gonna click up in my media and uploads and yep there it is right there I'm gonna double click on the preview to check it out and yeah there is my animation with my word cloud behind it so you can kind of get start getting an idea of what you can do here with uh, word clouds and our custom graphics so just start um, kind of playing around with the uh, different word cloud shapes inside custom graphics and see what you can make I'm sure you'll uh, start designing some pretty awesome things and um, yeah it'll definitely be something you're your viewers probably haven't seen before so yeah thanks for uh, watching and We'll just see you on the next tutorial.